Okay guys, so in this lesson, I'm going to show you guys the ultimate Upwork strategies that I use to get interviews and get jobs on Upwork. So overall, pretty much to sum it up, um, you just pretty much want to find the lowest hanging fruit. So that way it's as easy as possible for you to get jobs. So when I say lowest hanging fruit, I'm going to get to it in a second. And also just a bonus as well, you don't have to do this, but it can really help you stand out is if you make a video message as well. So you can use something like Loom or Vimeo and you can make a video message, you know, paste as a link and then you can send it um, as a as the message to them. And, you know, that just helps you stand out because people like to see other people's faces, makes it more human. Although you're not seeing my face now because my camera is being funky at the moment. So pretty much what is this overall strategy? So here's the job application template. This is going to be also in the resource section. Um, this is also going to be available to you in the section resource section that comes along with this. So you don't have to, you know, memorize this. But let's go through the job application template and then we're going to go through how you would find the lowest hanging fruit and what to send them. And then I'm going to show you, you know, actual messages that, you know, I've used this exact template for guys. I use this exact template and, you know, gotten replies back, gotten interviews. And, you know, this is why it's a live course. I practice what I preach and you guys are going to see it, you know, exactly like word for word what I do. So pretty much the job application template is this. You know, I see you're looking for specific job they want. This is very important. The reason why most people on Upwork fail is because they just copy and paste the same exact uh, plain boring thing and it has and it's not relevant to the job they're applying for. And then I've hired people on Upwork. I can easily tell if they've read the description or not. On um, And that's the most important thing. I want them to read the description so they know the job. Um, if they post a website or any other link that's outside of Upwork, look look at it and, you know, make a specific compliment about it. And, um, you know, that just adds more personalization. It shows that you did your research and shows that you care. Remember, these are, you know, warm, hot leads because they're, they're looking for someone to do their service. So you, here you want to be as personal as possible. And, you know, I say, you know, what I'm an expert at. So were there, you know, Google and Facebook ads. And, you know, my expertise in, you know, wherever you're strong in can help you achieve what they want because they're going to say what they want to achieve. And then you also want to add a recommendation of what they can do to achieve their goal. So, for example, if they say that, oh, we want to run Facebook ads to do lead generation, just say, oh, we can, we would, we would try, you should try using the lead gen campaign or use the traffic campaign or have an eye catching image or, you know, um, make it an offer that you can't refuse. So if you add a short little recommendation of what they do they can, to achieve their goals, this is honestly great because, um, a, it's not only personalization, but it shows that you are the authority, that you know what you're doing, and that you you can help them overall. And you're not just, you're giving away something, and, you know, the more you give, the more you get in return. And then here you can, um, you know, use the skills that you have. So you can say my skills in Google Ads include, you know, to that help you get more conversions, include this, this, you know, creating robust Google Ad campaigns. You know, you can... Um, you can copy this and I would change it up a little bit, um, obviously, um, but just know, you know, I use the word robust Google ad campaign, uh, Google ad keyword strategy, extensive, extensive. I use a lot of uh, adjectives that make it sound better. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what you want to do. Facebook ads, you know, same exact thing. So if you only, if you don't do Google ads, just delete this part, just keep this part for Facebook ads. And then, you know, Facebook audience pixel management, again, you know, you can use, you can use, um, you know, nice uh, adverbs. I forget the term. I don't know what adjectives, adjectives. And, you know, I say extensive Facebook ad split testing, detailed, you know, pixel management, et cetera, et cetera. And then here's this last part. You want to say, I have a couple questions for you. So question about, you know, something that's related to the job. And then the second question is how soon are you looking to get started? So pretty much you want to ask a question so that they have something to reply to. So that way they can reply to you easily and be like, hey, they answer these questions and then they say what they're gonna say. So pretty much that's why I ask these questions. And then I say, I look forward to hearing from you. And then, you know, you can say your name. So pretty much how do we find the low hanging fruit? 
So um, actually, let's go through, you know, what to do when to reply back. So most of the replies, like I said, are people either answering your questions or saying more details of what they want. And then once they say that or they'll ask you another question, you want to set up the interview ASAP. So like within the next message, you don't want to chit chat for a while. You want to set up a video interview with them, you know, because, you know, the longer you wait, the more job applications they could get and they could hire someone else. And then before you, once you confirm a, a meeting, ask for what they want to see so you can prepare. And then during the call, you want to show that you know what you're doing, you will get it done on time. You can get the results they're looking for. You aren't lazy, you won't cut, cut corners, you have great communication skills. From there, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, after doing several interviews, you'll get, you know, a job. Um, but pretty much that's what you want to do. You just want to make sure that, you know, you're going to get it done, get it done on time. You can get them the results, show them case studies if you have them. You're not lazy and you're a good communication skill. This is what I look for when I'm trying to hire someone on Upwork. I want to make sure that they're going to get the job done, they're going to get results, and that they have great communication skills and they aren't lazy and not going to try to cut corners. Um, because that's the that's the um, fear with many people have with Upwork. They're going to get lazy people that don't really know what they're doing. You just want to show that you can uh, through you know the interview, answer their questions truthfully and honestly, and um, you, you should be good to go. So anyway, let's get into finding the low-hanging fruit. So pretty much I am on my job feed for Upwork. So what I like to do is um, you can eventually save the jobs down here, but I want to I want to go on advanced search and let's just say Google Ads right now, right? So what's going to happen is they're going to bring you here and then you want to go to the filters, which is over here. So pretty much... I want to find the lowest hanging fruit with very little competition. And if you're just starting out on Upwork, I would say go to entry level because um, <clears throat> these people don't really care if you have experience. Um, you're not going to get paid as much, but you know, if you're just trying to get experience, you're just trying to get some job, some jobs on Upwork, do entry level. You can also do intermediate as well. And then what I like to do is less than five proposals and um, that's really it. I mean, if you want to adjust any of this other stuff, you can. But what this does is that it's entry level and less than five proposals. That means that there's little competition. And um, since there's less than five proposals, and these are jobs that you don't really need much experience with. So you can just literally just go through it. And then let's see, you know, digital marketing coordinator. You know, this is something that you could do. Um, you know, digital marketing assistant. Um, there's a lot of them. So you know, some some days, some days you're not gonna find a lot. Some days you will. Maybe well, let's try to go to intermediate, social media strategist, uh, Google PPC ad campaign. So you can see, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of jobs that with low hanging fruit you can go to. And then what you can also um, look at is when it was posted. So um, if it was posted, you know, anything over 24 hours and they're still looking for people um, and they still haven't got image proposals, your proposal is going to get looked at. And um, overall, what you do is let's say you want to do Google Ad PPC. Um, you just want to, you know, you'd want to submit a proposal. And... Once you submit that proposal, um, you just I just usually just agree with what they have. And then, you know, your cover letter, this is when you would post the uh, script I gave you and add in all the necessary information. Make sure you actually read the proposal too, because sometimes they say, please make sure you type in blue or something. Um, so I know that you read the proposal. And if you don't do that, your proposal will get immediately ignored. I can guarantee you that right now. Um, so yeah, so let me show you guys some actual messages um, from when I used to do a lot of Upwork back in the day. Um, so you can see here, you know, I'm using my exact, like my exact template, guys. Um, you know, I see you're looking for someone to help you generate profitable leads. The best strategy is to do this. You know, I give out a recommendation. It's probably more of the recommendation. I say my skills. And then if you have them, you can post case studies down here as well. Um, and then, you know, I have my questions here, you know, 
same exact thing. Let's look at another job. You know, same exact thing. I went on their website, congratulated them on the 1,200 positive reviews. You know, I say what they want. I would recommend, you know, guys, like I'm, and this stuff works because, you know, I wouldn't see if you, this stuff works because, you know, I wouldn't have gotten a reply. <laughs> this stuff works because I, Jesus Christ. This stuff works because I would not have been able to get a reply back. Um, and I wouldn't be in a messaging conversation with um, some of these um, other business owners. And, you know, you can see here, um, well, this one, someone just invited me. Um, but yeah, so pretty much you can see that, guys, that this works. This, you know, helps you, you know, can get some more jobs on Upwork. And I don't apply to that many jobs on uh, Upwork. Um, but you can see that, you know, it's, you know, even with a few jobs with my template, it works and um, you can do it. So, yeah, if you if you're looking for a new way to get clients or, you know, you've cold called, you cold emails for the day and you still want to do some outreach, definitely set up a profile on Upwork. Um, you can even view my profile. And then um, overall, you know, it says you completed jobs and stuff and pretty much all that stuff. And then you just have a, you know, a little bit description of what you do. And just pretty much just you want to just t talk about your services and all that stuff. And you want to have your portfolio if you have case studies and all that stuff. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the Upwork section, guys. So pretty much, you know, you have the template. You you, ha you know how to find the lowest hanging fruit. So go out there and apply to these Upwork jobs. And um, you know, make sure you have at least have a profile picture. You need that. And you have a short little profile description just say you know what you what you specialize in it's not really not, not really that complicated um there are lots of videos out there that can show you how to make a good upwork uh profile description um but overall people not many people are going to look at that they're going to mostly judge you based on <clears throat> they're going to mostly judge you based on the the um the cover letter that you submit so yeah, that is the Upwork strategy.